became apparent to me the other night. I was on Twitter and I saw this play. It was between Reggie Jackson and Blake Griffin and they're passing the ball back and forth to each other and they do it so long that it eventually becomes a violation. So at that moment, I'm thinking of a scene from a basketball movie that came out in 2001, 2002, somewhere when I was a kid. And I scroll through Twitter expecting other people to make the same comparison, but they're talking about a movie that's a bit older. And at that moment, I'm like, wow, age is slowly but surely starting to become a factor in my life. I mean, the clicking knees and ankles were one sign, but the fact that I was the only one who drew a like Mike comparison from this scene, yeah, this situation's starting to get crucial. So anyways, that spurred the idea for this video. I haven't decided if I'm doing 5 or 4 movies yet, but the topic is basketball movies that we love from our childhood that probably sucked. And I'm gonna kick this list off with Air Bud. Yes, I loved Air Bud as a child, but it probably sucked. Air Bud released in 1997, so I was actually only 2 when this came out, but I didn't end up seeing it until around the year 2003. The gist of this whole thing is that this kid moves to a new city, he's raised by a single mother because his dad died in like the army or something, I can't really remember exactly what happened to him. Either way, at his new school he joins the basketball team, but I think he's only allowed to be the water boy for the time being. And then Air Bud shows up and saves the day. Air Bud ran away from his abusive owner, which is a clown, both literally and by profession. Then he shows up in this kid's life, and lo and behold, he's the fucking basketball messiah. From what I remember, he starts off as like a halftime trick, and then he ends up actually, <laughs> he ends up playing for the team. Oh my god, that's so ridiculous. So the premise of the movie is crazy, like Air Bud is not just basketball, I know he played like soccer or something like that too, there was like a line of Air Bud movies, but man, when I was a kid, despite like I said the premise being total like utter foolishness, man it had a decent enough story to get it through. The kid was looking for some inspiration in his life and a basketball playing dog shows up, like I wish my dog played basketball. And then the movie tries to teach you about, you know, letting something you love go when it's best for both of you or something, I don't know. When he had to set the dog free because he realized it actually belonged to somebody else, and but then it comes back and it saves the day. Look, it passed for third grade, Dom, okay? I loved it, but it probably sucked. Next movie I'm gonna go with is Thunderstruck and oh boy, I did not love this movie at all. I'm just saying maybe some of you did, but I can tell you with a thousand percent certainty, this shit sucked. This wouldn't have even been good enough for third grade Dom. This is Kevin Durant's basketball movie. And if I can remember how this goes correctly, for one reason or another, he loses his basketball powers and they are transferred to some kid. As a matter of fact, yeah, that's exactly what happened. It was like during an interview and they both had their hand on the basketball and then his, his basketball playing powers went to the kid. And oh God, Kevin Durant. Look, I don't hate on the guy for a lot of things, but he could not act at all. Every line he had in this movie was just stiffly delivered. It was lifeless. Like you could just tell like it was a basketball player trying to be an actor and it didn't work. I don't think you've seen Kevin Durant in many movies after this and that's why. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, the whole thing, like everybody's acting is garbage. The story is garbage. Like there's one scene where they have like a TV hooked up in the cafeteria and they're watching this kid's like failed basketball highlights or something like what high school would this happen in? What middle school would this happen in? Where would this happen? Watching this blatantly unathletic kid trying to reenact KD's movements and trying to make it believable that he has KD's powers is oh god that movie's just cringe. So yeah, if you love this movie, I need a full explanation as to why. I mean, I know y'all are out there because people love Dragon Ball GT and that shit is unbearable. So if that can be loved, then Thunderstruck can be loved. Next. Okay, I love this movie and you're not allowed to say anything negative about it. I understand that yes, by regular standards, it probably sucked, but I'm going to leave in my own reality here. Rebound. Martin Lawrence. Oh my goodness. I watched this movie again and again and again movie came out in 2005, which does line up because I was watching this around the 6th grade. And look, man, Martin Lawrence just made this movie really lovable. He's the only actor you would really know of in there, for the most part. And the premise of this is he's coaching college basketball, but he has an anger problem, so he ends up getting thrown out, thrown out of the NCAA. And to get his college coaching career back, he's got to go coach high school kids. So he goes back to his old high school where he will coach the Smelters and the team is absolute ass. They were like the junior Knicks or something. So anyways, of course, as all these movies have to end in a fairy tale, he goes to coach them. He has them run suicide, something, something, something. All of a sudden, they're like the best basketball team ever. All this happening while he starts to develop a relationship with the star of the team and subsequently tries to smash his mother. 
So while everything in this movie is ridiculous and some of the acting probably sucks, it's still entertaining, it's still funny, and like I said, Martin Lawrence, he carried it. I was actually watching this movie as recently as like my junior year in college, so it has a special place in my heart and no rebound slander in the comments. Okay, so looks like we actually are going to have five movies, and at number two, I'm gonna go just right. Just right with Queen Latifah and Common. Now, I'm not really sure this would come from a lot of your childhoods, as I guess this is a basketball movie that wasn't really marketed towards children, but it was a basketball movie nevertheless. It's nine years old now, and it sucked, so yeah, Just Right is the story of how, uh, <laughs> Scott McKnight, he has everything. He's rich, the star basketball player in New Jersey, he's got a hot wife, and then everything comes tumbling down the moment he tears his ACL, I believe. All right, I'm just gonna stop right there. This is one of the few movies that actually had to employ some professional basketball players. And it's so funny cause you'll see like Dwayne Wade in this movie and I think Dwight Howard or Richard Lewis, and then all the other players are two K generics. Anyways, of course, after he injures his knee, it turns out his basketball wife was a gold digger the whole time. <gasps> yeah, no, shocker. But no, wait, it gets better. His now ex-wife has a sister. That sister, Queen Latifah, comes to be his trainer to nurse him back to health so he can dominate again, and then they end up together. And you can probably see where this goes. From my memory, it's like a couple of minutes in the movie she trains him, then he's back to superstar form. Something with a game winner, I remember. Yeah, it's your cookie cutter success story. Hot wife tries to get back in his life after she realizes she messed up. Of course, he ends up coming to his senses happy ever after. This movie was trash, but again, as a kid, I, I, I did love it. I don't know, it was just like you put basketball content in front of me, and I enjoy it. I'm a simple man. Oh, by the way, this is before Common could act though. Him trying to play this role of a hurt basketball player trying to get back on his feet. Oh god, it's so bad. And then when he ends up falling for Queen Latifah, it's just not believable at all. <laughs> I honestly don't know why I like this movie, but I did, so there's that, but I need y'all to explain to me, oh, I'm going to take a lot of heat for this, y'all about to be triggered, but I need y'all to tell me what the hell y'all liked about Space Jam. Yep, I said it. I said it. I did. I did it. Space Jam sucked. Now, I do have something to admit here. Space Jam kind of played in the background of my life. Like when I was a kid, I never actually sat down and gave Space Jam a full viewing when I was a kid. But I always knew what it was, I knew it was a big part of basketball culture, but for some reason I just never got around to actually sitting down and paying attention to it. It was just on somewhere and I'd see it. I really didn't watch this movie for the first time until much later in life. And of course by that time, it was like I was seeing it for the first time so it didn't appeal to me. But I don't know fam, cause, well actually you know what, of course I know. This was a movie that came out when Michael Jordan was the world's icon. You have Michael Jordan in a movie with some other star players. And then after that nothing else matters. The cringe acting terrible CGI, none of that matters. Michael Jordan was the superhero. He was people's superhero in real life, and now you see him being a superhero on the screen with people's favorite cartoon character. So, as a matter of fact, I completely understand why people love Space Jam, but that doesn't change the facts. Oh, this movie sucks. But like I said, for what it's worth, I get it. I don't know what cartoons kids watch these days or even if they watch cartoons at all. But yeah, if they took like a crossover between the most popular cartoon shows and then put it on the screen with LeBron James, I'm pretty sure all the elementary kids would fall in love with that. Or maybe they wouldn't. Maybe that movie was just like the perfect 90s movie and that time has passed. But I don't know guys, let's just call it truce, okay? Let's do this peacefully. I'll have my rebound, I have my airbud, and you guys have your space jam. Everybody goes home safely. 